Excuse me, can I please talk to you for a minute? Good afternoon, guys. Um, I thought I would fill you in on what's been happening. I never did a Mother's Day video on Sunday because when I woke up on Sunday morning, I had wedding drama I had to deal with. Um, basically, uh, I don't know if I'd spoken to you about it, but I've been asked to be maid of honour um, and the day before Mother's Day, the bride asked everyone to go to her house while all the boys were on their stag do, including my husband, and discuss all the plans for the hen party. And with me being the maid of honour, I was kind of in charge of filling everybody in on what the vibe was going to be, which I had already went over with the bride, and her words were, I love it. And when I spoke to everybody, um, that's going to the hen party, they all said the same. They love it and we're up for everything. So, um, as far as I was aware, it was all cool. When I came home, I even started to do a wee vlog, filling you guys in on it. And I'll maybe just show you a wee clip of that. Guys, sorry about the shaky camera and the background noise. That's my kids watching My Little Pony or something. Anyway, my husband's away in a stag do and um, I'm the maid of honour so I was around seeing the bride and all the guests that are going away on the hen do and kind of going through the itinerary for our hen party and then I started getting into like on the day of the wedding the running order because I'm also doing the makeup obviously um, and then Sunday morning drama for like absolutely no reason so I had to get that sorted and I was in no mood for doing Mother's Day videos so that never happened um, I'm not going to come on here and bash the bride um, I'm just drawing a line under it I'm no longer a part of the wedding I am um, and I'm pretty glad because in my opinion it was getting very cringy and yeah I'm moving on with my life like it's golden yeah and don't worry, this is not like a fell out with my best friend. I know she asked me if he made of honour, but it, it, the situation was not that. The situation is, her man and my man are very good friends. They are tight. But we only hang out through our, our um, other halves hanging out. We do not kiki it with the girls. My friends... I've all pretty much had issues with this girl, so like, truth be told, they don't like her. And um, I don't hang out with her circle of friends. So apart from like, when our other halves are hanging out, we don't, we don't see each other. Um, so I was taken aback, I was flabbergasted when she asked me to be a bridesmaid and then I got, um, asked to be a maid of honour because pretty much everyone um, in the wedding party said no to her and when I'm talking about people who are, are real tight with her sister tight said no to her so it ended up like I was the only man for the job and as it turns out my efforts are not good enough so do you know what it's fine best of luck with the wedding um, but I won't be at it. It is such a miserable, cold, wet day outside. Um, I've got loads to do. I've got my dance time t-shirt on because I'm teaching tonight. Um, and I've also got the last appointment in Sarah's salon for her to get her hair done and John's hair done. Um, when you see John's hair. Um, John hates getting his hair done. We're talking like see those kids that you see in the supermarket kicking and screaming lying on the floor and um, their parents can't move them because they want a chocolate bar that's what he acts like when we go to the salon the last one he was screaming as if people were murdering him and he was kicking his legs like he almost kicked the mirror off the wall it is unbelievable and when i left 
honestly you wouldn't have even thought that he had his hair cut you basically get what you're given um, because he just doesn't like it um, he had a total temper tantrum the day um, I, I, I've explained to him we're going to the salon is he going to behave um, so hopefully he got his whole you know bad I don't know mood that he was in out his system and he'll be good when he sits in the chair and gets his hair cut please <laughs> hopefully um because it's embarrassing and this if it if he does it again that's the last time I'm taking him um I'll just cut a fringe and let him have long locks honestly I mean it's 2018 who cares if boys look like girls and girls look like boys so Sarah is um, getting her hair done. Because of the whole s snowstorm, Sarah and John's appointments were cancelled and so was her dentist appointment. I don't let Sarah go and get her hair done unless she's off school going to the dentist or something. She's got an exam, so um, I, I, I can't let her skip school to go and get her hair done. Um, it's too important a year for her. Um, but... Yeah, she's gone for a change. She's gone purple. She's been red for like ever. And yeah, they've got to try and lift this red out. And we've got the last appointment of the day. So I don't know if they'll have time to put the purple in. Um, we know our hair's gonna be ginger, um, not blonde when they, when they try and lift it. But hopefully it'll be light enough for the purple to take. Uh, this is the the dye we're using. I don't know if you can see that. It's called CF Color Flash. I just went in to Sally's and got this Ultra Indigo uh, Vibrant Semi Permanent Gel Hair Color. And like when you put purple in your hair, it'll, it'll wash out after like three washes. So what you do, the girl in Sally's told me, is you mix this in with your conditioner when you're washing your hair to keep the colour in um, and put an old pillowcase because your pillowcases will get stained um, so make sure you have an old pillowcase on your bed at night so that's what we're doing um, and I'm looking forward to seeing our purple it's exciting yeah um, just went to go and start editing this vlog and seen that I lost all the footage that I did for Angela's birthday, which was last week, um, of her opening up her, her gifts. Dramatic music! Yes! It's PlayStation. Um, but I thought I'd show you her new kicks. They're a little bit dirty, because that's Glaswegian weather for you. Rain, wet, muddy but how cool are these they're in rose gold come on oh well that's like the wee charger usb charger but see if this one works yeah <laughs> like honestly she needs to clean them but how cool yeah i want a pair So as I thought, we didn't have time to finish Sarah's colour in the salon. So it's bright. They've lifted most of the red out. It's kind of almost pinky, pinky Peach. tone. Um, yeah, and, and super bright um, at the roots. So I'm going to finish the, the purple in the house and it should look cool it should look like different tones of purple It'll be like super vibrant here a little bit deeper and darker through the middle um and then because she has some old blonde and her hair come back through lighter again at the ends so yeah i'm going to have my dinner first i'm just in from dancing and and then we'll get on with it yeah 
I absolutely love this girl. Um, her name is Sophie Shohets, I think her. That's how you say her second name. But she's amazing. She's very successful and fabulous and normal at the same time. Pause. So, I'm going to watch that while I'm applying the colour into this hair. Look at John's hairdo. John, tell everybody how much of a good boy you were. Is that because you got a kinder egg? Is that? Kinder egg. Is that why you were good in the hairdressers? Is kinder eggs the magic secret to you sitting nice in the hairdressers? Yeah? Turn around, show everybody your hair. Ooh, you're so <laughs> handsome. Can I get a kiss? No, John. Love you. Say bye. bye. Okay, bad news guys. This little bottle was not enough and I have now ran out of hair dye. So, I got the front of the hair done. I did my best with this quarter of the hair, but um, I don't know if you can see with that last little bit that I put, it's a bit, I don't think I put the color through very evenly because I was scraping the bottle. So all this last section on this quarter needs done in this whole quarter of the section of the hair still needs to get done. So I'm gonna get some more hair dyed tomorrow, first thing, and do the back of our hair again. Yeah. So that's where we are. So I got the last two bottles in Sally's, and looking at Sarah's hair, it's the, where the middle part of our hair, the color that was a darker blonde is taken really well but the top part I mean it's barely stained it it's kind of even almost got like a green tinge to it so um, I'll need to go over and do the roots again but there you go everyone thinks that you've got to bleach it up to it's like white but actually this colour of blonde has taken the best to the purple so time to do the back and get our whole hair purple yeah okay so this is the result um she's had different colors of blonde in her hair so the results is different colors of purple some of the purple took really well to the blonde and some if you can see around the back um didn't take to the blonde at all. Some came out very blue and some very purple. So, um, yeah, you now have multicolored unicorn <laughs> hair. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay, good. Happy